I do. Uh, I want to make another video uh, because I've had one or two questions uh, about Blue Jay drums and Easy Drummer um, and how to get it set up and basically get the sounds from a module um, triggering from your laptop. Um, I want to show you how I've fed the sounds back from the laptop into my module and again have a bit of a, um, a look at my kit and the modifications I've made. I've made a few videos so it will be kind of whistle stop tour. Um, on, on my kind of kit. So first off, obviously I've done um, all mesh head conversions uh, and there's a video on there how to change them and this again some perhaps better videos than what I've done on YouTube as well. And um, one thing I've not seen anyone do before um, which I really like is um, on the bass drum, the kick drum, um, I've actually mounted that onto this arm because when it was free floating, uh, I don't know if you found it yourself, um, it does actually move quite a lot. Now I've taken the bracket from the back there, um, just held on by, uh, I think it's like some M5 uh, bolts, can't remember exactly, but it's easy to come off uh, just with a screwdriver. And where the Elise's plate goes on the back, there is two holes there uh, where I've put, uh, it's either M5 or M6 um, bolts, uh, some set screws actually, sorry, all the way uh, through this arm and got some wing nuts on the back. So that is now completely mounted to this arm and that will not move at all. Um, I, I thought I might get some um, some triggering, uh, triggering of the other drums because of the vibration by hitting, um, obviously, my kick pad and that travelling up through the frame and triggering other drums. So what I've tried to do to minimise that is just use some of this, it's kind of like pipe lagging. This actually came from like a sit-up exercise uh, machine, this I think, um, which weren't used. Um, so that's on either side and there's another little bit at the back as well. Um, so obviously being filmed that'll take some of the vibration out. Um, the, the pedals I've got um, are the Speed Cobras. Um, really recommend them. I had De uh, Demon Drive before, which uh, were okay, but I couldn't get much purchase really. These you can, because they're long boards, um, you can get a lot more purchase, and I'm quite a powerful player. I like to uh, really get a nice nice kicking bass drum sound. What I found with uh, the actual heads, they're kind of like, um, it's not a cone shape, but they kind of come to a point. Now, because the mesh heads, especially these Z head ones, um, it is like a mesh. I found these wore down quite quickly. This one used to be on my kind of primary pedal, and this second one um, I've changed from my sleeve. So basically, I've just swapped them over. And I've just put on this um, like flam slam um, kind of because that's well, it's like a, a smoother, smoother plastic there. Uh, it's like a fiberglass underneath and some kind of laminate on top. So that's a lot smoother, and that's made them last longer. Um, I don't know how much these these pedals, uh, sorry, the beaters are actually, um, but I can imagine that they're, they're not very cheap. Um, so try and get as much life as possible out of those. Uh, obviously the way I've got my kit up high at, I've uh, got everything quite low. I prefer my uh, ride symbol there and my secondary symbol um, set up there. So I'm really happy with it. So going to um, obviously Easy Drummer and the sounds from the module. Now first off, you can't embed Easy Drummer sounds into the module. You can with Blue J drums. Um, and go to Elise's site and type and just search Blue Jay, uh, Blue Jay, sorry, and embed them. That's what I've got on my Elise's DM10 at the moment. They are better than the standard uh, sounds on Elise's DM10, um, but I think overall the Easy Drummer sounds are the best. So I'd say Easy Drummer sounds the best. Then uh, the Blue Jay drums, uh, and then in third place would be for me uh, the Elise's DM10 sounds. Um, I don't think they're some of the cymbal sounds aren't really that natural, but Blue Jay drums are natural. They're kits which, which have been recorded, and I think it's Blue Jay Studios, that's why they call it Blue Jay 4. But again, it, you guys can research that. And the reason why I put Blue Jay on, I don't use Easy Drummer all the time, is because I have to get my laptop, and it's, it's not the fastest laptop. Um, and obviously, if I just switch my module on with uh, Blue Jay sounds in there, I can use them pretty much straight away. Now, how it works then? So, uh, you need Tune Track Solo, and that's the kind of software which will run your Easy Drummer. At the moment, I've got the Pop Rock Kit, and I've also got a Drum Kit from Hell. But to be honest, uh, the generic kind of Pop Rock Kit is a fantastic sounding kit, a uh, really nice snappy snare. Um, so how I've got that, basically when you hit your um, your drums, there is a piezo transducer in each one of these pads, and basically all that is is a little brass um, kind of um, disc with a piezo uh, crystal crystal on it. And as you hit that, that sends a current to your sound module, which will uh, trigger your sounds. Now, to get that working on um, on Easy Drummer, basically coming from the USB, which one here, a bit blurred. 
but USB out and that's going to the USB of my laptop and to get the sounds back out I could have put headphones directly into my laptop but what I've done is the kind of top tip um, three and a half mil jack and that's going to two phonos which will go to auxiliary in as you can see here now if you turn down the main volume and your headphones um, and plug your headphones into the headphone slot here you'll get the sounds from Easy Drummer and not uh, the Blue Jay sounds like I've got on here. If I was to put a headphones um, sound up here I'd get a mix between my Blue Jay sounds from a module and Easy Drummer. So I've turned them completely off at this moment in time. Um, so you guys can hear it, obviously I'm just using my iPhone here but um, from headphones I've just got a jack that's going to go up to my makeshift kind of stand there, my music stand and I'm just using an eye rig and plugging that into my phone uh, for the second part of this video uh, for me to listen to myself play I've just put my headphones into the main out um, just on the left side I think it is, so I'll only get left side through my through my headphones um, so that's how you could trigger it and still get the sounds through your module um, and I just, I just turn, well, I've got it to about halfway easy drum, if you put any more than halfway from what I found um, it will start distorting Another thing I want to show you, um, the way your kit is configured um, when it sends a signal to your module depends what sound you will get from Easy Drummer. Now things like the snare and, and bass are pretty generic uh, and the hi-hat as well. But I found that my first tom, when I was hitting that, I was getting the te uh, second tom sound on Easy Drummer. Now it's really easy to change. Basically you've got to say what signal is being sent from here and how it's going to be configured on Easy Drummer. So if you go to instruments, this one here, that's a little bit blurred this, I'll try and get folks if I get it closer, there we go. And also press this one called note chase. Now what note chase will do uh, is basically when you hit your pads in a second, it, it will um, do the settings on this, you don't have to scroll up and down, find a snare drum or first tom. So, uh, so I press instrument, it brings up uh, edit uh, instrument there, and if you press MIDI on there, um, basically the second one down which says MIDI note that is the MIDI note that is sent from your Alesis DM10 and that's what sound you can have playing on Easy Drummer now for depending when you've got your second symbol that is for my percussion too so I had to change if I hit percussion in fact if I just hit the snare drum first it should say snare head there we go sorry for it being blurred this for some reason it won't focus um, I can't take it away because it goes too bright then if I hit my um, symbol there basically brings up um, my percussion head too. Now I'm just going down to MIDI note. I'm really sorry about that. That is really really blurred, isn't it? But it does say 86. Now if you change that up and down, uh, that'll start changing what is played. If you want that to be another snare, we'll find out what number. Um, I've got no manual to tell me the sound, so I just had to spend five minutes going up and down to try and find the sound on there. So I've got all the sounds set up uh, on there. Other thing you can also do on Easy Drummer as well, there is this little kind of tab there on the side, just on the, the ride symbol there. If I press that, um, that, that brings up, can I get it closer there? There's 22 Sabian hand hammered vintage, and I prefer the 22 Sabian hand hammered, oops, sorry there, uh, hand hammered row. So you can also change what sounds you want in here. Now, obviously, I've got my second uh, symbol, Percussion 2, as I just showed a second ago, triggering this one. But if I go to there and click on it, you can change what sounds. Now there's some nice evolutions, HHX, really, really nice sounding symbols. Very expensive. I've managed to afford one on my acoustic kit, but um, I'd love a full set. But, um, I'm not that rich, unfortunately. Um, but you can change them on there. Um, so... Hope that's kind of helped for. I know there are a few questions that I've actually got overall. Please, anything you want to ask, uh, I will try and answer to the best of my ability, which is not very good, but um, at least I hope this has helped and, and have a play around. The second part of this uh, video, I'm going to um, actually just try out a few of the sounds. I'll start off Easy Drummer first, and then I'll go to, to Blue Jay drums. Now, the first kit on Blue Jay, oh, I can't actually see any, I'll explain in the second video, but I use acoustic. I've got a loose sounding kit and another one just called Rob 2 which I've just tried to find the best sounds I could um, and kind of blended them all together. So that's nearly 10 minutes gone, I um, hope it's helped. Please watch this second video um, and I hope that will show you some of the sounds. hope they won't be too distorted because um, it's only taken from an iPhone um, and an iRig but again I can't afford the proper recording equipment. 
That's bang on 10 minutes now. Babylon enough. Thank you for listening. Hope it helps. Bye-bye.